胡杨色，迎花的孤儿唱起来，乡下民呀，大家一道舞起来，乡下民呀，大家一道舞起来。The song I just sung is a verse from Hu Opera, and it is in the Shanghainese language. It is a beautiful song, and this is what it meant. Spring breathed through my face. Children are happier than ever. They're wearing brand new clothes, holding beautiful gifts, and singing festive songs. Come on and dance with my invitation. Come on and dance with my invitation. This verse describes happy kids in the new year, and is set in a scene where people are celebrating the festive season and living to the fullest. Our culture is our way of life. It is the essence of our existence. Hu Opera is a part of my culture. It originated from Shanghai, and so did I. Hu Opera is a traditional opera, which is one of the members of 350 Chinese local operas. Hu Opera started from the reign of Emperor Qianlong, around 250 years ago. Then became popular during the Qing Dynasty. In Hu Opera, a play is performed by several hundreds of people, and it is just like the live plays of the Lion King or the Nutcracker we see today. The opera narrates local stories that happened in Shanghai. It is an integral part of Shanghainese culture. It unites us and reminds us of our culture and of our heritage. It carries a lot of meanings: the joy of sharing beautiful moments, the tales of our heroes, and the wisdom of the wise passed down through many generations. But today, very few people know. Or even perform or sing the opera. It is a far cry from my grandma's time, when there are so many beautiful fans and so many stars of Hu Opera. And so, as a Shanghainese, my question is, what's happened to our culture? Well, here's the answer. An astonishing 90% of the local young people in Shanghai does not know. How to speak Shanghainese? The language itself stands at risk of becoming extinct. I start to ask myself: If all young kids born in Shanghai cannot speak Shanghainese, who is speaking it? If I don't do something to prevent the language from going extinct now, then when? And if the language itself is threatened, what about the opera? Who will understand it, or even perform it in the future? The burden is on me, on us Shanghainese, to do something. The importance of preserving our culture cannot be overemphasized. Language is connected with the culture. A person who doesn't know their local language. Really knows their own culture. It's just like a tree without roots and a sea without origin. Our culture shapes who we are. It keeps us together as a community, as society. It gives us shared values, and explains the many traditions that we have. I was lucky. I started learning Hua Opera from kindergarten. Thinking back. I am really thankful that my parents can send me to learn this beautiful art. Initially, they just wanted to provide me with a Shanghai language environment, which I didn't have at school. But as I grew older, I noticed that the main audience for Hu Opera are all seniors. There are no youth or middle-aged people to be seen. Why? Because they barely understood Shanghainese. When I talk about my hobby of singing Hu Opera, my friends 
who only watch YouTube and are K-pop fans, they come and ask me, oh, come on, Eva, what year is it now? How could you still possibly sing this old stuff? But I didn't care about what they thought, since I loved it so much. Well, then, I started to take action. I started performing at school, where I mixed popular music with traditional language of the opera. As a result, it turned the table. My friends, now they become interested into these songs. Together, we performed for larger assemblies in school. More and more people became familiar with Hu Opera. From our friends to our school and soon in our community. Everyone loved it and some of my friends even performed with me on stage. Now here comes the best part, which is that we got invited to perform on reality TV shows. I didn't realize that it made me somewhat famous. People recognized me from the street and strangers even said, ooh, I saw you on TV, I love that performance. Now all of that positive feedback encouraged me and urged me to do something more and let more people know about this art. Soon after, my Huapa teacher and I performed in community centers and other public spaces. Once, we performed Hu Opera in Metro Station downtown, which is like the most crowded place of Shanghai. Holy, we have to rent a stage and audio system. We didn't have a large budget. So the changing room. Or I wouldn't even call a changing room, since it is just a wooden frame covered with a piece of fabric. It was all done in a very frugal manner. But since we're just kids, it's a great start and not an easy job for us. But we knew all of these hardships was worth it. We knew when I saw little kids dancing and singing with us downstage. We knew when I saw people coming very far just for the show. And we knew it when I saw tears of joy running down the seniors' faces because they finally heard the familiar tune once again from a young generation after 30 years or so. We knew we did it. Our culture is in which we express our unique identity as a society. This may be through the way we dress, the language we speak, and other forms of expressions, for example, dancing or singing, like opera. Now I'm in Canada, where we mostly speak English. My language becomes a vital connection between my past and my present, my hometown and my new home. It serves as a reminder of where I came from. Preserving our culture is not just a necessity, it is critical. Culture needs to be kept alive and relevant. It must be learned and regularly practiced. And it must be communicated through generations. Thus that is why involving us, young people, is essential to its survival. You may then ask, how can you, as a youth, help to preserve your whole language and your whole culture? Now, allow me to share with you three simple ways. First and foremost, the most important thing is to embrace where you came from. Be proud and keep your language alive. Speak it with those who understand it. Your parents, your grandparents, or your friends if they're able. Being able to speak Shanghainese from such a young age is truly a blessing for me. I am fortunate that my parents enrolled me in a language class when I was in kindergarten. And because of that, I am able to speak it fluently now. Secondly, it is important to open your mind and learn about your culture. The traditions, the ceremonies, the different forms of art. And if you're lucky, there could be events that you can attend to learn from. If not, ask your elders to read about it. Learning about your culture is a rewarding way to get in touch with your ancestral roots. For me, that would mean to keep practicing my traditions and taking part in cultural festivities. At the same time, I'm constantly asking my parents or researching the things that I don't understand or am not familiar with. Finally, last but not least, share with others. Tell your friends about the stories about your culture. 
Show them the traditional clothing you wear, like the ones I'm wearing right now. Share the authentic food you make at home. These are bounds to spark that interest in that conversation. By repeating it, we ingrain it into our minds forever. Honestly, I felt so much joy in sharing my knowledge by performing Huapra for others and with others. It has truly been rewarding each time I sing. This is my story about my culture. I'm sure you have yours too. Our culture is our identity. It helps us to feel safe, feel proud, and to belong. So let us preserve our culture, embrace our traditions, and keep our language alive. I would like to sing one more verse from Huopra before I end. It describes the scene where guests are welcomed and the host is happy to help everyone who needs it. In English, the meaning is as follows. Set a feast to welcome everyone from everywhere. Start a fire in my fireplace to welcome my guests. Anyone who comes in is my guest, and I am happy to help. Because just like in the verse, we should open our arms and our hearts to help everyone in need, in every tradition that is endangered. Let's <laughs> 